hello there. <laughs> um, I promise I am going to do my very best to keep this intro as short and sweet to the to the point. Just I'm gonna try my best to not just get off topic too much <laughs> in this intro because I want to you know get started on the fun. Um, I don't know what I was doing with my hands, honestly, but um, welcome back. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Um, so what I am going to be doing today, I'll just jump right into it, is I'm going to be doing a paint by numbers kit from the company called Dimensions. And I have to double check, but I think Dimensions, they are a brand that's also known for um, their cross stitch kits. And Though that's true, yeah, I've done a few Dimensions cross-stitch kits. I mean, I started them. Have I finished them? No, but um, <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, so this is their paint-by-number kit. It's called Shells. Straight to the point with the name. Great. <laughs> um, and I'm very excited to do it, and I'm really... Sorry, I just keep, like, hopping back and forth between this thing, but um, I'm very excited to work on this because this is um, a birthday gift for my mom. Not the kit, just the finished, <laughs> the finished artwork. Um, and the main reason why I wanted to do this for my mom's birthday gift was whenever we go to the beach, um, we'll lose track of where she is um, and we'll find her maybe 30 minutes later um, sitting near the ocean just finding seashells. <laughs> and she likes to collect seashells and like make fun like seashell artwork with them. Like, not so much, like, artwork where, like, he glue the seashells to, like, a piece of paper, but more so, like, different, I guess, like, arts and crafts DIY projects with the seashells. So she's done a lot of cool things with it. With seashells. <laughs> so this is the perfect gift for her. I hope, hope she likes it. <laughs> but um, I've done quite a few Dimensions Paint by Numbers kits before. I've done, I think, at least two in the past. Um, and... I really like the quality of them and they're a little bit unique compared to like the typical paint by numbers kit that you would get from like Amazon. Just throwing in a generic brand in there for you guys. But yeah, so I don't know if you can tell, but um, this artwork is incredibly detailed and her birthday is, when is her birthday? Her birthday's this Sunday and today is Monday. So I got, Got like six days to work on it, but I think I can do it. And so yeah, I'm gonna open this up, flip the camera for you guys and show you what makes Dimensions paint by number kits a little different. Not sponsored by the way, I bought it with my own money. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. Okay, so here we have the painting, the blank canvas painting. And the interesting thing about Dimensions kits, and let's see if you guys can see this. Yeah, so, the paint by numbers kits from Dimensions are, I guess like, you. this is like a very thick board. I wouldn't wanna say it's like a cardboard, maybe it's very similar to a cardboard, but it's like a slightly thicker board than the, than the typical um, canvas that um, you typically do paint by numbers kits on. And let me take this in a little bit. Let me show you guys, like, like do you see that detail? Like those, there are, they have some very intricate details in these seashells. So it's gonna be very meticulous, but I think it's gonna be really fun. Now I gotta figure out how to put this down. The dimensions also gives us this reference chart for us to go and, you know, <laughs> reference <laughs> throughout working on the painting. So we've got all of the nitty gritty, nitty gritty details of the um, painting. But then also to the right hand side here, we have um, our color chart. Which brings us to the paints right here. Now, they've given us 12 paints, but as you may have noticed, there's more than 12 colors listed here. And the reason for this being 12 of the colors are the base colors that they provide you, but the rest of them, I think that's 15 or so additional colors, they ask you to mix the colors together. So as you can see here, printed along the side, are numbers. So what you do is you reference the chart right here of which colors to mix. So for instance, um, A needs you to mix together the colors one and two. 
which in this case would be you mixing together white and this pink color and you do it you know mix it like use equal parts of the two colors and mix only two um mix only a small amount at the at a time and that's honestly something that i really like about these paint by numbers kits is you have to mix your own colors and that kind of like makes it really fun for me personally it's like an additional fun step that you have to do and it just makes the whole process much more enjoyable what i also really like is how you may have noticed that um, these paints are or paint pots are connected by this little mechanism and you can very easily pull it out and then also reattach it so that you don't lose any paints and then you can clip them together and it makes it easier if you want to take this painting on the go which I like to do by the way I like to go to Starbucks <laughs> and work on these there and then the very last thing we get is this paintbrush and unfortunately for all dimensions paint by numbers kits they like to tape this to the back of the board and whatever tape they use it loves to peel off a little bit of the backing of the cardboard which if you're a perfectionist may bug you but I always put these in a frame at the very end um, just a standard photo frame so that no one notices that in the end but we have everything here and Normally what I do in the past when I've done these types of kits is whenever I have colors that have to mix, I just get a small bowl and I mix it in there. You can also use like a yogurt container that's empty and that's been cleaned out to mix these paints. But what I'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna grab the paint pots from the previous paint by numbers kit that I did, which was the Dye Moonshot paint by number kit. And I'm gonna clean them out and use those paint pots for mixing the colors. That way I can maybe mix all the paints ahead of time instead of having to stop and mix as I go. Especially for a lot of these seashells, they're very detailed and intricate and I would much prefer to have all the paints ready than having to stop bit by bit to mix the colors. Because especially if you take a close look, anywhere that you see a number, those numbers are referring to the base colored paints that are provided to you in the kit. But anywhere that you see um, an alphabetical letter, that means it's a mixed color. So there's a lot of them in this kit, um, which is great. I'm so excited to see how many additional colors we can make with these 12 base colors. But I'd prefer to do all the work ahead of time. I'm going to ignore the rule of or the suggestion to mix a small amount at a time. I'll play it by ear, <laughs> but the very first thing I'm going to do after mixing all of those paint colors is I'm going to do the background first because when you're painting in general, it's smart to do the background first. That way, um, when you're painting the objects in front of the background later on, you don't have to go back and repaint the background so that you don't have the background and the objects in front of the background like fighting to look like they're up close, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't make any sense, but you basically, I'm sure you don't want to paint a seashell, very intricate seashell, and then have the ocean or sand in the background be on top of it and make it look a little funky. I like to try to put extra care into my paint by numbers kits, especially since this one is a gift for my mom. I want it to look good for her. Honestly, I could probably just throw paint on there and be like, Mama, I made it for you. And she'd be like, oh, I love it. But <laughs> I, I put, I value the effort and time that I put into my um, different gifts for my family and friends. Um, so I think that's all I have for now. So I'm going to go ahead and mix the paints. I'll probably do that off camera, but I will show you what the, all the colors look like when I'm done with that.
working. <laughs> okay, hello there. Um, so as you can probably see, I am in a different environment. I am at my parents' house <laughs> right now. So yeah, um, just gotta just gotta work with what you got while you're visiting your parents, <laughs> especially since this gift is for my mother. So it's perfect. Give get to give that to her, and her birthday's actually um, tomorrow. <laughs> so yay! Um, but I don't know how quietly I'll be able to talk. Hopefully this mic can pick it up okay. If not, it's fine, we'll work with it. <laughs> but at this point, um, the background is finished and it's looking fantastic, by the way, in case you guys were curious and we're not at all looking at the time-lapse of anything that I've been filming. <laughs> um, but I wanted to tell you guys how much I love working with these paints. And the reason why I love working with these paints is because of, it's interesting, but it's like, they're very fluid. And what I mean by that is when you dip your paintbrush in the paint, there's, it's not what I like to call the professional term, gloopy. <laughs> the paint is not chunky. It's very soft, smooth, and has a high fluidity, which means painting intricate, tiny details with your paintbrush is so much easier. I've worked with um, cheaper paint by numbers kits where almost all of the paints are gloopy, so that means that like trying to paint in tiny details is just a nightmare in all honesty. So these paints are fantastic, but I don't know if this is because they're so fluid. Um, they are also very um, transparent, um, which basically means that um, I need to do two coats of paint in order to cover, cover up any um, symbols or lines from the paint by numbers template. So just giving you guys a heads up on that. Um, I think that was it, yeah. So, but the painting is looking really great, really loving it, um, and I mentioned before, but I like to do the background first before doing any objects in the um, front or foreground of the, <laughs> of the image. Um, and so the background looks fantastic. It's basically just like ocean and sand, and it's a lot of color blocking areas, so it's very easy to paint, and yeah, I'm having fun. Um, okay. So now I'm gonna keep working on this bad boy. Let's do it. <laughs>
So because this painting um, requires you to mix a good amount of different colors in order to have all of the colors in this arsenal to, to, to do the painting, um, uh, there's just a lot of cool colors. And I wanted to kind of explain verbally how I mix them up. So as I showed pre um, earlier in the video, or maybe I didn't, I don't remember at this point, honestly, it's been days since I recorded that part, but I grabbed um, the paint pots from my Dye Moon Shop paint by numbers kit, cleaned them out and dried them. So now, well, it's full now, but it was empty <laughs> when I was done. And I'm just gonna briefly explain. So H, um, as charted in the color charting, is a combination of this blue and this white color. So, I just dropped it. Anyways, um, so basically what I did was I would open the paint, empty paint pot and I did about like three scoops. I tried to do three equal scoops using my paintbrush from this and then same thing from the white. And I kind of was trying to eyeball it to make sure I put an equal amount because it's, it's not the most um, accurate <laughs> way to do this. But then I just, you know, glooped and would brush it in there like so. This is such a professional tutorial. I know I'm aware I'm an amazing teacher, <laughs> but after I would have that in there, or have both colors in there, I would, you know, use the paintbrush to um, mix it in. But I would also do is, you know, since it's transparent, probably can't see this well, but it's, it's you know, you can it's see through the paint pot. You can see the colors. And if you can see on the edges um, here that it's not mixed in, you want to go in there and kind of scrape the sides of the paint pot. That way you're really mixing it well. I think for those of you who might um, bake, like bake cakes or anything, and you have to mix like color dye, food color dye and icing, and you do it in a clear bowl, um, what a lot of I guess professionals do is they hold the clear bowl up and look to see if the um, food color dye is mixed in all the way through and if it's not then they scrape the bowl and that's that's just how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. I hope you guys like this butchered <laughs> this butcher tutorial, dear god. Um, but yeah, got a, light, got a nice variety of paints. Oh. As you can see here in this instance, I didn't do a fantastic job of listening to my own advice. You can probably see a little bit that the um, paint wasn't mixed great, but I tried. Listen, I did my very best and that's all we can ask for from me at this point. <laughs> also, don't mind my chin. I am a human and I get acne, so yeah, I'm sure no one noticed until I pointed it out. Or maybe you did and you weren't going to say anything about it. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Um, <laughs> what, is, what is wrong with me? It's like, it's like 11, 15 at night. I would like to be asleep, but I got to finish this bad boy for you guys. Did you guys watch Katie's um, stash video today? Because I sure did while I was working on this earlier. That was fun. I would like to go to bed now. <laughs> okay. All right. Onwards. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things you took from me I know that I am so much better, better When I look at what I've done now that we're apart When I look at what I've won, I've come so far I know I'm so much better oh, so baby, you don't belong
to see how beautiful this painting is. Look at that. <laughs> Listen, I know it's a paint by numbers kit and like it's not my own creation technically because it's I'm just following, just painting within the lines. It's like a coloring book, but I don't care. I love how this turned out. Um, these details are just incredible. Fantastic. I love it. Um, the starfish, I think, is my favorite part, honestly. It, and it looks so good, especially from afar, but up close it looks doesn't look too terrible as well. I honestly think I did a pretty good job getting rid of the symbols. There might be a couple lines poking through here or there, but I'm proud of my work that I've done. Um, so yeah, this looks so good. Um, let's see. So like I said before, this is not my first time trying out the Dimensions Paintworks kit. And it's again, not sponsored by the way or anything, but um, if you guys are interested in trying paint by numbers kits, I feel like this is a great way, great place to start because they're cheaper. They're around the 15, 20, $30 range. It really depends on the artwork. And they have a ton of these listed on Amazon. This kit will be listed via an Amazon link <laughs> down below for you guys to check out if you're interested in doing this for yourself. It's not an affiliate link or whatever it's called, but it's just a regular Amazon link that I found on Amazon. So go check that out if you're interested in buying this. And if you do, let me know if you do it for yourself or for a gift. A, 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 I, I can't talk. <laughs> this is a gift for my mama. Mama, I'm sorry. I don't know how to speak proper English. It's my first and only language, but you know, it's fine. Um, but yeah, on Amazon especially, they have a whole bunch of this brand of kits, like a whole variety of artwork. And I've done, I gotta count real quick, but I think I've done three. This is my third one that I finished. And I have another one that I've started last year and I need to finish it. So they're really fun. 
and they come in different sizes. Like I have um, a cow one that I did. Lindsay, if you're watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I have a cow one and that's pretty dang cute. And it's like a square shaped one. And then um, I think a couple, another one that I did was like an eight by 10. This is an 11 by 14. So different, nice variety of sizes. But the good news about this is these are very easy to frame. I turned my head and I cracked my back. Back pains, let's go. I'm 24, but I'm dying, it's fine. But yeah, I got a frame <laughs> from Amazon. I think this was like 15 bucks. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it in the thing and then wrap the gift for my mom. I hope you like this mom. <laughs> Um, so yeah, anyways, yeah, highly recommend you guys trying these out if you're interested and they're very, I say beginner friendly. And what I also like to do, forgot to mention this, I didn't do it this time, just I didn't have time, but with these kits, I like to take them on the go with me. So I like to use the box that um, the painting comes in to store everything in there. So including the paintbrush. Um, even the paper towel, the paints, and you know, the board, of course. And I like to go to Starbucks, like different coffee shops, um, get a coffee and then just sit there and paint away. I bring like, um, like a plastic cup, go to the sink in the bathroom, fill it up with water. I brought my own paper towel and my, all my tools. I just buy a coffee, sit down and paint and you, I, it was fun. <laughs> it's a fun time, so highly recommend that. I feel like it's a little easier to take this on the go than maybe a diamond painting, but also, I don't know. Seems just as complicated as a diamond painting, so who, what do I know, honestly? It's fine, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, put it in a, in a frame. I'm gonna put it in a frame. Yep. I'm doing it, we're doing it, we're putting it, put, put, putting it in a frame. Why do you guys watch me? There's like over 1,510, 20 of you, and I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> God. Oh dear God. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say next? Great. Yay. I don't remember what I was gonna say next. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I just, I just had, I had a moment right there where I was just sitting there staring off into space, not knowing what I was trying to say next. Uh, I remember what I was going to say. Um, for those of you who are watching, like 50, 50, 50, 50 percentage breakdown of who is subscribed and who is not subscribed. You can totally subscribe if you want to. If you don't, I will cry myself to sleep though, but Everyone who wants to watch me cry myself to sleep will probably unsub right now, but that's fine. I love you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, leave a like. Let me know what you thought of this down below. And would you ever try one of these? Like, what do you think of the concept of painting on a board? Like, this is fairly... I don't know how to describe it. It's a board. It's literally a board. But um, would you ever try it? <laughs> um, I definitely would say it's like... It's different experience than painting on a regular, you know, f floppy... Um, canvas um, and I like how it's smaller it's just very portable and easy to take on the go and it's just easy to like maneuver you weren't seeing that but easy to maneuver when you're working on it um, I of course had to have it have it kind of in one position when painting for the camera but honestly I will do whatever makes you guys happy that made no sense okay um, <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, please subscribe. Give me a like. Give me your money. No, I'm joking. Um, but let me know if you have any questions. And I think that's it, honestly. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, oh my God. I forgot. So I, I pulled the winner of um, my Train of Dreams giveaway in the last couple of videos. And the winner is Lisa... Borges, Borges, Boggy, Lisa, Lisa, I shipped the kit to her already, <laughs> but congratulations, Lisa. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, she won the kit. So yay. Woo. Give her congratulations, please. Woo. <laughs> but I shipped the kit off to her. So yay. I love that. I'm so happy. I hope, um, I hope you enjoy it, Lisa. And okay, there we go. That was the thing that I was sitting here trying to be like, what was I trying to say? And I remembered, guys. So I am 
So glad I didn't forget that. But um, now I'm gonna go work on Flight of the Fireflies. I should probably go to bed, but not doing that. Okay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video with my paintbrush and maybe um, some actual funny content for you guys. Who knows? I don't know. Please subscribe. Bye!